Enemy is a 2013 film from Denis Villeneuve. The concept of doppelgangers is a great tool to explore personality and identity within cinema. Throughout history the motif has been well used in films such as Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo, Richard Iowardi's The Double and David Lynch's Lost Highway. From a more sardonic perspective you can look towards Manesh Bat's Duplicate or Ivan Reitman's Dave. The idea allows for a duality to be explored, in Enemy's case, chaos and order. Enemy, however, is less literal and more psychological. Denis Villeneuve describes it as a journey into one man's subconscious, and in a big part, his own. We are introduced to Adam, a history teacher who seems a slave to his own life as he toils away at nights in his empty apartment, having sex devoid of any emotion before the day is over for the cycle to repeat itself. Things begin to change when Adam spots someone identical to him in a local film, and becomes determined to find his doppelganger, drawn deeper into a mysterious web as his sanity takes a kicking. Jake Gyllenhaal completely carries the film, with a standout performance, or should I say performances, as both Adam and Anthony, his double. Gyllenhaal preferred to shoot the shared scenes using a tennis ball on a stick to find the right eye line, and he would even improvise lines with himself as he acted out scenes. Despite these technical limitations, you forget very quickly that Gyllenhaal is playing both men. The nuances of his performance help distinguish the two characters, if subtly. The city of Enemy feels very much like its own character. Villeneuve wanted an urban landscape that spread forever, in line with the novel the screenplay was adapted from, described as a megalopolis of millions of souls. The film never leaves the city. We are never given a break from the smog and the maze-like architecture that traps the characters like spiders in a web. Enemy's cinematography reflects this, in giving off a surreal sense of sickness, Tinged in a greeny yellow haze, the streets of Toronto are unrecognisable and you can almost feel the heaviness of the air. Director of photography Nicholas Baldock used straw and chocolate filters in front of the lens to colour the footage in camera, as he and the director wanted to approach the film from a traditional filmmaking perspective, achieving 90% of the look in camera. The unique visual style made its way through to the night scenes as the streetlights give a harsh orange glow, achieved with doubled up gels on tungsten lamps. The unnatural look these lights give are crucial to maintaining the film's atmosphere. The film permeates a sure sense of unease, mirroring the states of mind of its characters, something fans of David Lynch's filmography will appreciate, especially Eraserhead and Blue Velvet, which also deals with duality, but of suburban living. Chaos is order yet undeciphered. The film starts with these words, squarely introducing us to its central theme, while simultaneously a metaphor for the film's approach to its own narrative. The beauty of Enemy is the rabbit hole it sends you down as you watch it, in the same disconcerted state as its protagonists. Yet there are answers to your questions, they're just layered under deep subtext and suggestive imagery. It is a complex and spellbinding look at our relationship with our own identities.